Hello everyone, welcome to Keredi Training Solutions. We are at session 2 of probability and in this session we will be discussing about problems on dies. A die is a cube shaped structure and contains 6 spaces numbered from 1 to 6. So while rolling a single die, the total sample space is 6. So you can get any of the following number from 1 to 6. So total sample space while rolling a single die is 6. While rolling 2 dies, the total sample space is 6 into 6. In single die you have 6 spaces, so in 2 dies you get 6 into 6, totally 36 combination from 1 comma 1 to 6 comma 6. So total sample space while rolling 2 dice is 36. While rolling 3 dice it's 6 into 6 into 6, 2, 1, 6. So simply we can say 6 power n is the way to find total sample space while rolling the dice. So 6 power 1 is nothing but total sample space while rolling a single die. 6 power 2 total sample space while rolling 2 dice. 6 power 3 total sample space while rolling 3 dice and so on. So just keep 6 power n in your mind to find total sample space while rolling n number of dice. Similar to problem on coins, we have shortcuts on problems on dice also. This shortcut helps you to find the total sum of faces while rolling 2 dice. The minimum total sum of faces when rolling 2 dice is 2. That is 1 comma 1. When you sum 1 plus 1, you get the total sum 2. And maximum total sum is 12. That is 6 comma 6. Now we can write these sums in following structure like this. Sum 2, sum 3, the total sum 4, total sum 5, total sum 6 and 7 at top, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. The minimum total sum of the faces while rolling 2 dice is 2 that we get for only one time. Only 1 comma 1 we get the total sum 2 and we get the sum 3 for 2 times. See 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 while sum it you get 3 for 2 times. And you get the sum 4 for 3 times and sum 5 4 times and sum 6 5 times and sum 7 for 6 times. And you have to write the numbers in descending order from 8 to 12. And sum 8 for 5 times and sum 9 4 times, sum 10 3 times, sum 11 for 2 times. See sum 11 in the sense it's 5 comma 6 and 6 comma 5. And sum 12 for only 1 time. Now based on this we try to solve a problem. Find the probability of getting the sum of 2 faces 9 while rolling 2 faces. Uh, while rolling 2 dice. While rolling 2 dice we get the sum 9 for 4 times right. So out of 36 4 is nothing but probability of getting the sum 9 while rolling 2 dice. So 4 by 36 is nothing but 1 by 9. Hope you understood the concept right. Similar to finding the sum of faces while rolling 2 dice we have shortcuts for finding sum of faces of 3 dice also. The minimum total sum of faces while rolling 3 dice is 3. That is 1 comma 1 comma 1. When you sum 1 plus 1 plus 1, you get the sum 3. And maximum total sum is 18. That is 6 comma 6 comma 6. So when you sum 6 plus 6 plus 6, you get the total sum 18. Now write all the possible sums in the following way. 3, you get the sum 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Now you get the sum 3 for only one time and sum 4 for 3 times and sum 5 for 6 times and sum 6 for 10 times, sum 7 for 15 times, sum 18 for 21 times and sum 9 for 25 times and sum 10 for 27 times. Now you have to write the same number in descending order from 11 to 18. So 27 times you get 11 and 25 times you get 12 and 21 times you get 13 and 15 times you get 14, 10 times 15 and 6 times 16, 3 times 17 and 1 times 18. So you might feel complex by keep remembering this number in mind, right? So we have a structure. Let me put this structure in different color. Okay, see 1 plus 2 you get 3, 3 plus 3 you get 6, 6 plus 4 you get 10, 10 plus 5 you get 15, 15 plus 6 you get 16. From 1 to 21 the number is increasing in ascending order 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. After 21 you have to subtract 2 from 6. So if you subtract 2 from 6 you get 4. So 21 plus 4 you get 25. Again 2 from 4. So 4 minus 2 you get 
2 plus 2. So, 25 plus 2, 27. So, you have to write the number in descending order from 11 to 18 in this way. So, 21 to 27 to 1, you have to write the number in descending way. So, based on the concept discussed, we try to solve a problem. Find the probability of getting the sum of faces 13 while rolling 3 dice. While rolling 3 dice, the total sample space that we get is 6 power 3. So, 6 power 3 is nothing but 216. And the total probability that we get is, that is total number of even that we get is 21. So, we get 13 for 21 times while rolling 3 dice. So, 21 by 216 is nothing but probability of getting the sum 13 while rolling 3 dice. Hope you understood the concept, right? Now, based on the concept discussed, we try to solve some problems. Our first question, in a simultaneous throw of a pair of dice, find the probability of getting a total more than 11, 7. So, while rolling 2 dice, the total sample space that we get is 6 power 2. 36. So, 36 is total sample space, number of sample space. Now, the number of even that we want is getting a total more than 7. So, you have to find this sum which is more than 7 while rolling 2 dice. So, sum greater than 7 is 18, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, when you, when you sum 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, we get 15 times the sum greater than 7. So, number of event is 15. So, 15 out of 36 is nothing but probability of getting a sum greater than 7. In a simultaneous throw of a pair of dice, find the probability of getting a total of 10 or 11. While rolling two dice, the total sample space that we get is 6 power 2, 36. Now, this is our sample space. Now, what is the event that we need? The probability of getting a total of 10 or 11. The probability of getting a sum of 10 or 11. Now, in previous triangle we discussed, we get the sum 10 for 3 times and sum 11 for 2 times. Now, whenever we have the word R, we have to sum it. The same we discussed in permutation and combination. And when we have the word AND, you have to multiply it. So, here you have to find the probability of getting a sum of 10 or 11. So, 3 plus 2 you get 5. So, 5 is nothing but the total number of even that we need. So, 5 out of 36 is nothing but the probability of getting a total of 10 or 11 while rolling through 2 dice. Hope you understood the problem, right? Moving to our next question. In a simultaneous throw of 5 dice, find the probability of getting all faces same. While rolling 5 dice, the total sample space that we get is 6 power 5. Now, you have to find the probability of getting all faces same. So, all faces same in the sense you have to get the same number on all the faces. That is 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 up to 6 comma 6 comma 6 comma 6 comma 6. So, 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2 until that 6 comma 6 comma 6 comma 6. We totally have 6 chances. So, number of events that we actually required is 6. So, 6 out of 6 power 5 is nothing but the probability of getting all the faces same while rolling 5 dice simultaneously. So, 6 by 6 power 5 can be written as 1 by 6 power 4. 1 by 6 power 4 is 1 by 1, 2, 9, 6. So, this is probability of getting all the faces same while rolling 5 dice. Hope you understood the problem, right? Moving to our next question. What is the probability of not getting a 5 when 3 dice are rolled together? Dice 1, dice 2 and dice 3. Now, what is the probability of not getting a 5 in first dice? Now, out in dice 1, we have 6 faces. In 6 faces, 5 come in only 1 face. So, 1 out of 6 is not acceptable here. So, 5 out of 6 is acceptable. And dice 2 also 5 out of 6. In dice 3 also 5 out of 6. Because you have to find not getting a 5. So, not getting a 5 means you have to eliminate 5 from the 6 faces. So, you have to eliminate 5 from the 6 faces. So, remaining you have 5 faces out of the 6 faces. So, 5 by 6 for dice 1, 5 by 6 for die 2 and 5 by 6 for die 3. So, when you multiply you get 125 out of 216. So, 125 out of 216 is nothing but the probability of not getting a 5 while rolling 3 dice together. Hope you understood the problem. Moving to our last question of the session. In a simultaneous throw of 3 dice, what is the probability of getting a sum divisible by 3. So, here you are rolling 3 dice, right? Here you roll 3 dice. When you roll 3 dice, the total sample space is 6 power 3. That is 2, 1, 6. Here you have to find the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4. So, sum divisible by 4 in the sense, you can take 4, 8, 12 and 16. Now, you have to find the 4 occurs 
4, 8 and 12, 16 occurs for how many times while rolling 3 dice? Okay, number 4 happens for 3 times and number 8 happens for 21 times and number 12 happens for 25 times and number 16 happens for 6 times. Now sum 3 plus 21 plus 25 plus 6 plus 6, right? So 3 plus 21 plus 25 plus 6, you get 55, right? So 55 out of 216 is nothing but the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4, 3, 21, 25 and 6. So when you sum it, you get 55. So 55 out of 216 is nothing but the probability of getting a sum divisible by 4 while rolling 3 dice. Hope you understood all the problem of this session, right? In upcoming session, I plan to include problem based on cards. Until that, stay connected with Career D Training Solutions. If you have any doubt on the topic, please don't hesitate to put it in comment section below. And click the nearby bell icon to get instant notification and like the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.